What is up YouTube, Scarada here, and welcome back to my channel essentially. So we are reacting today to 10 creepy ghost videos to watch in the dark by Shadow Man. So it's October, it's 9.15 at night, let's just go on with the video. And creepy ghost videos to watch in the dark. Which I very clearly am, apart from that light. A young woman by the name of Kelsey recorded a short clip after noticing something strange in a photo a family member took. While her and her family were out at a bridal store in New Jersey, Kelsey's sister took a photo of her that would turn out to be anything oh, yeah, but flattering. Before. I went bridesmaid shopping yesterday and I had on this dress and my sister is gonna wear this one so I took this picture and I just sent it to her this morning and she responds saying oh my god that picture is possessed this is the full photo look at my face here this is not a serious smile but look at my face here and now look at my reflection in the back yeah and very I, different what the f what the f is that I'm freaking out I'm freaking out that's possessed that is the truth or dare smile that where are my teeth? That's not even the same. That is not the same smile. Is that? I can't. I really think I, I, I'm gonna die soon. Of this short video of Kelsey's blow up after both her and her sister, along with Kelsey's followers, realized that the face she is making in the photo is not the face seen in the reflection. The creepy clip was shared across the internet as viewers just it's couldn't understand what was going well. on here. Looking closely or zooming in, we can see Kelsey's face looks very similar to the face seen in the scary Truth or Dare movie from a few years back. A sinister looking photo that will most likely haunt all of the family for years to come. Uh, it definitely is creepy. Paranologies, a channel run by Jeremy, the now current owner of the historic Jefferson Hotel, has been uploading paranormal videos for a little over a decade now. It seems that before buying the hotel with his wife, Jeremy collected a vast amount of supposedly haunted items, one of which being a doll named Eddie. The following two short clips claim to show cool. Eddie, the doll, moving on his own during two different live streams. Seeing if it'll give it any uh, ions. I'm also checking out a new Illuminator. Ooh. Oh shit! Yep, that was a moving on. Crazy if you Yeah, and it caused a massive spark as well. Or maybe you're a child trying to play with a doll? You can do it. Eddie! Eddie! Eddie. Said Eddie, wow! That was clear. That was very good. Yeah, you can go ahead and touch Eddie. Okay. Oh, oh, she oh, it moved! Did you see that? I mean, the arm slightly moved. I thought it would have been the other arm that would have moved, but... Oh my god. Obviously, that it did move. Moved. It moved. Just need to move my mic a little bit further on. Eddie the Haunted Doll moving on his own, however, is just the beginning. Jeremy has a lot of interesting videos on the paranormal. I suggest checking out his channel, Paranologies, where you'll find hundreds of spooky videos just like these. To end, take a look at the following creepy clip. While live streaming at the Hill House Manor in Gainesville, Texas, it's believed that Jeremy might just have captured what many would call the shadow figure while exploring the haunted house. Okay, let's see uh, what we, we have. We have a pathway of periscopes and electroscopes, which all detect what, Armando? Static electricity, uh, which is natural static, you know, that we all generate. Ooh, so it's not going to pick up. Oh, is, oh, oh, oh. That was a Just saw a shadow. Hold on. Okay. I'm not moving. Nobody else move. Pam, are you moving? Did you see that? So I definitely saw it. Yeah, there it is, and there it kind of goes as well. Coming home late. Jen Barari, a woman I've featured uh, many times yep. before on this I, channel, has I uploaded yet another video that viewers are not sure what to make of. The quick clip was recorded by Jen when returning home after traveling for work. Upon her arrival to her house, outdoor lights started turning on and off, seemingly on their own. 
Not only that, but Jen may have caught something else, much scarier on camera not too long after entering her house. Okay, I mean that's definitely flashing lights. I just heard something behind me. Oh, the front light in here is flicker. That's so Oh creepy. wow, everything is flashing there. I'm gonna have to go in in a second. Um, again, I just I don't think got you home. To. I really miss you guys. Um, I've been working on, you know, these digital gifts for you, and I'm also really working on making this a full-time thing so that I can hang out with you guys. I won't be absent. Did have some stuff going on aside from work. Um, some things that were kind of detrimental to my life that made me a little sad and. Kind of okay, distant, I mean, that's, now, that's a lot of flashing. Guys, I hope you're all doing well. For what it is. Can you hear that? Alright, I have to go in. Because this is... Can you hear that? Definitely her banging... Can you hear that? Yeah, her banging in the Hello? right earphone. You guys, I hear stuff all around me right now. I don't know if you hear it. Me so badly. Oh, on and off again. I'm shaking so bad. It's weird because I can Welcome hear things home. in this right Wait. headphone. Seriously. And then nothing. Shaking so bad. Right. So it's been cut for time. Fair enough. On the property, told me that he was here and um, the swings were moving, so I'm like waiting for that to happen, but I don't Ooh, know. Ooh, that's a figure that just went past. Okay. Did you guys just see that? Oh, I did. Right now? I definitely saw that. I mean, that's actually her, not the. Uh... Hello? Really odd. Okay. Again, I don't have TikTok, so I Attentive don't viewers would have noticed that Jen this. appears to have caught a dark figure in the reflection of a window. Judging by the comments on the original video, it seems that Jen was home alone that night, suggesting that whatever or whoever this was is unknown. Could, Avid viewers of Jen's are sure intruder. that her house is haunted, offering regular advice on what she should do about it. Could this dark figure seen in the video be something supernatural though? What do you think? I mean, truth be told, it probably is su something supernatural, but... Uploaded to a YouTube channel called Alinet back in 2014, this video shows what happened in Japan not too oh, long yeah, after the big tsunami like struck ago. the coast of the country in 2011. The clip claims to show a ghost or spirit escaping the flooding as it searches for higher ground. Take a very close look at the following and let me know what you think in the comments section. As the structure starts drifting, it decides to move. Oh, I see. Mm. Okay. When you look at it from different angles, it does look like gas. It doesn't quite look like a creature. Yeah, because I mean that's that's a gas of some kind. That's that's not a spirit. The original poster states that this almost looks like a living creature as it jumps out from I mean, a tree into the water, then back like out that, of the yeah. water, and then disappears into some sort of mist. Some viewers claim to see this thing changing shape as it manifests into almost a creature-like form, while others have suggested that this is nothing more than some propane gas escaping from a tank that hides underwater. A real um, ghost of someone who had just lost their life in the tsunami? Or is this nothing more than sea spray and or gas escaping from somewhere? I'm more you decide. I'm more inclined to think that it's more gas than anything else because of the way that it moves. I mean, I can understand why people would think that it would be a figure. I mean, yeah, because because it literally shapeshifts. 
The two women behind the Twisted Chamber podcast recently uploaded a spooky video to their TikTok. The description writes that one of their friends sent in the following clip to them. The video was recorded in a hospital late at night. Oh. Hello. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Very gorgeous. Okay. Whoa, that was quick. I thought it was the green the original thing poster at first. said that this was late at night and said that no one was around. However, as you probably saw in the video, a black like shadow can be seen darting past at speed. Yeah, that's Slowing real the quick. clip down a lot, you can see what appears to be a shorter like figure rushing by in the hallway or corridor just a few feet away. Yeah. I'm assuming the video was only supposed to be an update video for friends or family. You would Although think so. obviously it turned into anything but as the clip went viral, garnering almost a million views. Some viewers have said that this is not a ghost, suggesting that it's merely just a nurse gliding by on some roller skates. Really? But what do you think is happening here? A nurse on roller skates. What? The following frightening video was recorded across the road from Cruise train station in the UK. Across the road from the Cruise train station is one of the town's most historic buildings, one of the country's first railway I think I've been hotels. Crew before. The Crew Arms Hotel, along with the tunnel system down below, are said to be haunted by people who may have passed away during its construction. I mean, the following video was recorded and uploaded to Reddit by a man named Ben Taylor. He and some co workers one day could hear something unusual while they were underground. Listen to this. Not left there. Okay, well that's a bit on the creepy side. I wonder what it is. I do, yeah. It's left all park wonder. Thanks, go again, Dave. Shit. Okay. Okay. Disorientedness, okay. Okay, I don't. That's. Why would you go and investigate? Oh, that. Ooh, I got goosebumps from that. Uh, what is that? I mean, it definitely doesn't sound human, that's for sure. I mean, an animal, maybe? I'm trying to think, what would actually make that type of sound? I got nothing. Yep, go back. Do you make me stopped? Do you not hear it? Stop. Yeah, I, I don't know what that is. The original poster stated that the area was checked for dogs, animals, and anything else by transport police, as the noise was causing the staff to stay away from the area. I'm not surprised. But nothing was found. Employees of the area uh, also can, added comments as they had seen afterwards. objects moving on their own, and also heard strange noises similar to this. As bizarre as all of this was, it's not the only creepy situation recorded in the same area. A guest of the Crew Arms Hotel also caught something they couldn't explain. Oh, someone just watched the football. Okay. Movement. Matt. Matt. Oh, there goes the chair. Oh my god. Matt. Oh my god. Oh my god. Royalty and many other famous sports stars have stayed at the hotel over the years, though it's not just the living who have walked the floorboards. 
as the building is claimed to have been haunted for years by the Grey Lady Ghost. Perhaps these two videos you've just seen here might show evidence of this. I mean, it's definitely Ma? something because that chair was not moving Ma? before and then just boom, gone. Oh my god. The Haunted. The YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare is a series that documents the Foreman brothers, Josh, Sean and Rocky as they travel the country helping families trapped in violent situations. Each episode documents the family's real-life struggles dealing with aggressive and dark spirits. Sure I've in seen early this one 2021, as well. the brothers traveled out to Bloomington, Indiana. After a mother and daughter contacted them asking for help, suggesting that they were under attack by multiple spirits inside their own home. Concerned for them, the guys went out to help them understand what might be going on. While they were there, however, they recorded something very I was creepy. In fifth grade. And I heard my mom holler for me. So we went back to oh, my house that. to see so what mom what wanted. And she said she didn't holler for me. But we heard it. We heard Jenny. And then those barn doors started going like this. We hear it like a shadow went straight through that room over there. We see the dark outlined figure of a man um, around here, mostly in mom's room. But mm -hmm. we've seen him walking around no yeah i mean that's that's pretty obvious yeah, that's something walked by because it was like oh there, i have another thing to tell you frame, I, there is this one incident and that's funny that you mentioned that walking through the dining room i sat there a good 30 minutes with her she would not eat her vegetables still then all of a sudden she started eating them every last bit of them she finished and as she was doing it she was staring from the kitchen table into this dining room and she's just staring and eating like this. And again, she's two and a half, three years old. And so we look over to the dining room and I said, what, what is it? And she's like, a man. And she pointed, she said, standing over there, he told me I better eat my vegetables. She said, then he flew away. And we see shadows a lot. I'm always thinking somebody's behind me. This family were mm. absolutely convinced that they had at least one or two spirits bugging them while they were just going about their daily lives. The Foreman brothers spent the night at the residence and ended up capturing some pretty amazing stuff on camera. Paranormal evidence that even skeptics would have trouble explaining. Watch the full video over on their YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV Series. The Pensacola Lighthouse in Florida is an early 1800s structure that was originally built to keep ships clear of the land, as you can probably imagine. However, the last the few years the it's been used to tour visitors around in the hopes of seeing something spooky. You see, the lighthouse has been thought to not be haunted, but merely occupied by several workers who never left. Okay. Cody Long of WKRG News went to investigate the Pensacola Lighthouse back in 2019. He, along with some other visitors, got a quick rundown on who or what might still occupy the building today. For 160 years, the Pensacola Lighthouse has sat here at the entrance to Pensacola Bay. Thousands of visitors come through every year to explore its history. But paranormal investigators say this property has six permanent residents. We don't say that we're haunted. We say we're occupied by six people who really like it here and chose to stay with us. Rob Booth and is the night haunted. tour coordinator at the lighthouse. He starts by taking us upstairs to Ellen Mueller's bedroom. Booth says she grew up here and got married at the lighthouse. Then she died giving birth more than a hundred years ago. Ellen died of complications. That was a yes. And she bled to death in this room in 1911. This is a ghost meter pro. It picks up on electromagnetic energy. They use it to communicate with the ghost. They respond by dancing the meter once for yes and bouncing it twice for no. When the meter turns red, that means they're in a real close proximity to you. Then we took K2 meters with us to the basement. Can you light this one up for me? Can you make it change colors? Okay, very bad, Larry. Yes. Oh, look. Okay. This is where Booth says they often find Thomas and Raymond, two runaway slaves hanged on the property. This is a picture of Raymond. 
Let's come on in here. Now to the tower. It's 15 stories high, 177 steps. We're told many people have seen or felt a man named Sam Lawrence on the steps and at the top of the tower. But others sometimes show okay. up to... That's Although a lighthouse is probably misty. the last place you'd think to be haunted, it seems to be quite the opposite. Another lighthouse in the state of Florida, St. Augustine, also built in the 1800s, has had its fair share of stories. Including that of three or four young girls losing their life after falling from the side of it back in the late 1800s. Since then, a few images have been taken that might just show that the girls still occupy mm. the place. Whether or not you believe any of these stories are true, people still flock to these two lighthouses in hopes of seeing something spooky each and every year. I mean, it could be, could be. CJ, the man behind the YouTube channel Project Amber, sees him and his dog Lance travel as far afield as possible in search of the ultimate camping spots. While traveling in his converted X ambulance across a mountain range in France, he discovered a spot that would be ideal for a couple of nights. However, once CJ arrived and parked up, he realized that his mini fridge had given out. In an attempt to fix it, he brought it outside and recorded a little video. This is what happened next. Okay, so something's gonna happen. Now I'm sure with house fridges you're supposed to... Right, so I'm pretty sure with a house fridge, if you move it, you're supposed to leave it like 12 or 24 hours to, um, to settle, for the gas to settle. Now I've just flipped it upside down and back again, so I'm going to give it the full 24 hours, I think, to work. Uh, what are you looking at? You keep freaking me out, doggy. There's no one over there. Or is there? <laughs> Can you see someone? I'm not. There's actually a well. Just oh, where I'm parked. Yeah, it's okay. Down sort of track. And there's a well with a big metal bar on it. Yeah. And, uh, originally that's... I was going to go and park there, <laughs> and I saw the well. Instantly started thinking about the ring, which when I was about, I, don't know, I think it was about 10 when it came out, scared the s out of me. As like I month, would I imagine I did a lot of people. Um, so yeah, that's. I'm not staying there. Forget the fridge for a minute, the next evening this happened. Yep, same t-shirt, what a tramp. Okay, I'm seriously freaked out now. Um, a minute ago I could hear like really loud moaning, like Aah! like just booming across the mountains. So I've come down to where I could hear it, uh, got to this old well and it stopped. I mean that thing's wild freaky, it's like something out of the ring. But just as soon as I got here, just from over there, there's no track or anything, it's just wood. This girl appeared, dressed like kind of like a monk, uh, no shoes, no hair. So I said okay. to one drawer and that, Ooh, she was that responded, was loud. Um, asked if she was okay, but she didn't respond then, she just carried on walking. Um, so I carried on a bit and thought, I better double check. Went to go and find her again. She's gone. So up that way, that's where my van is. And that goes to the okay, road. There's some clipping, which is like... But down where she went that way, there's nothing. And there's nothing for miles. Where did she go? I'm gonna leave. Good idea. Really good idea. There she is again. Oh yay, okay. I mean, it's not very clear, While but... explaining to his viewers how he's gonna fix his fridge, CJ soon realizes that his dog, Lance, can see or hear something that he can't. Sometime later, after discovering an old creepy well, CJ sees an odd-looking woman in the distance. Slowing down the clip, you can just make out someone in the trees a couple hundred feet away. This ultimately led CJ and Lance to leave the spot. However, viewers are convinced that he might just have caught something spooky on camera that day. Perhaps a ghost or spirit of a girl. But, take another look and judge for yourself. I mean, it's a bit hard because you can't really see that much. Like Leah, this. a mother who typically records videos on family and fun, uploaded a short video to TikTok in 2021 that would end up going viral. The creepy clip saw Leah's son outside playing around when what seems like an unknown force pushes him to the ground. Okay. So nothing's happened yet. They moved out seven months later. 
Okay, so the kid's just throwing stuff at the moment. He stops and... Whoa! That was definitely a push. And then the kid just carries on playing. Like, kid, you've literally been pushed it by something. It described in later videos that she and her family lived in what they called a haunted house at the time this video was recorded. She also mentioned that this wasn't the only time something odd like this was captured on camera. Okay. This next clip may be nothing, however, it's worth sharing. In this video, it appears that something or someone is talking to Leah's son as he plays in the living room. Okay. There's another video clip from where we lived in the haunted house. Man said, who's that? Not sure if you... Okay, something... Or if something touched him, like, he must really... Intrigued with these two okay. creepy clips of her son, Leah decided it. to share a lot like more that. information about this supposedly haunted oh, wow. house her and her family used well, to live there. in. What she ends up telling her viewers is terrifying. Hey guys, so this is my part one of my story about the haunted house that my family and I were living at for a short while. So this is the moment that I knew that my house was haunted and that this stuff really exists. So we move into this house and I start having these really horrible dreams. Um, they were very disturbing. I had the same dream but a little bit different every night. This went on for a while. Um, I would wake up in the middle of the night. My heart was pounding. I was sweating. I was, like, terrified. And I would wake my fiancé up all the time, and he was getting so aggravated with me because he didn't understand what was going on, and I didn't either. Um, so eventually I just kind of blocked it out, and I just wouldn't talk about it. Well, we ended up having a bonfire with my neighbors, and they had came over, and my one neighbor had said to me, um... I can't believe that you guys are living in this house. And I said, well, why? And she said that it was haunted. So she said the family that lived in there previous had moved out because they were experiencing, like, scary, crazy stuff. Well, no surprise. So in my head I was like, it's really sad, you know, that that happened to them, but things have been fine. Well, I don't even know how she ended up showing me a picture of um, this man. She said this man had took his life in the house that I was living at, and... The moment I looked at that picture, I knew that my house was haunted because it was the same man that I was dreaming of, and that was pretty much in my dreams every night. So, this is when I knew that my house was haunted. A very creepy story that ultimately resulted in Leah moving out of the house no longer than seven months after moving in. Following these few clips, Leah has gone back to posting regular family videos. However, it appears viewers are still wanting to know more about this house she used to live in. Alright. So, I am back somewhat full-time now. Um, I don't know how many videos I'm going to be doing a week. Um, but because of it being October, I'm also going to be streaming um, horror and just general Halloween um, stuff on Twitch as well, so I'll leave my Twitch in the description down below. So that was 10 creepy ghost videos to watch in the dark by Shadowman, and I will see you in the next one.